Uh, hello dear friends, thank you for joining me today. We're going to have a quick look at uh, a very simple flow. In this flow we have a planner service right, and teams service. So we have some tasks in planner and when one of these tasks gets completed then there should be post in teams channel to notify that this task is done, something like this. Right, so let's have a look how we can do it using Power Automate. Uh, first, I go to my Power Automate portal, right, and I can check existing templates, what we already have here. So let me search for something like Post Team Planner. Uh, you see, there is a template already that has a post message in Teams when a planner task is completed. And it's quite a popular one, right? It's been downloaded at this time more than 12,000 times. So we can probably reuse this one. And as you see here, there will be two connections, one to planner service and one to Teams service. I connect with my user, then I click continue. And uh, now I get this template where I can start with. So here I have to select a group ID. In my case, I have a couple of different groups or teams for that matter. And I'm going to use a, this one, simple weekly plan. This is a test group that actually has a planner in it connected to this group. So for the plan ID, I select this specific simple weekly plan and then uh, for this part I can configure it to post as a flow bot or a user or a power virtual agents which is still in preview so for now I'll just keep it as a default and use it to post as a flow bot I can use either post it in a channel or in a specific group chat uh, you know things like that so I, I just put, put it in a channel and then I can put the team ID. Team ID would be, it looks like I have only one team here. And for channels, it's also not a very, very rich choice. I have only this general channel. And maybe I modify this just a little bit to change it to done instead of completed. So uh, not so creative, but let's see how it works. So I save the flow for now, right? And I can test it. I can uh, do a manual test, right? Because uh, for the first time I have to trigger it. Let me test the flow. So now the trigger would be when the task is completed. Let me go to this specific plan. And, uh, okay, uh, I add a task here. Test task one. I set it and assign it to me. Then the task is added, right? I go here and so what I do here, packet in progress, done, right? So when I click on done, it should be, should trigger the flow. Let me go back to the flow and see if it gets triggered. Uh, okay, so it did not get triggered. Uh, let's see why. Uh, ah, because the progress has to be set to completed. So it's not the bucket itself, it's actually the progress of the task has to be completed. So now the task is really completed. And I can have a look. Uh, go back and refresh all runs history. There are still no runs. That's, let's give it a moment. Normally there is a short delay uh, for the, this is a flow runs on owner's plan. So my um, plan is free here. So there could be a short delay for this to, to run actually. Okay, now I do a refresh, you see, 
it ran 31 milliseconds successful and if we look here to analyze we see actually that uh, post as a flow bot is done right there is a channel and there is a message that was sent here and this is the body link that was done so um, now you can experiment for yourself uh, to use this template it's simple to do and it makes your life a little bit easier on uh, everyday tasks so thanks for watching have a great day and stay healthy bye bye